Hi everybody, it's Sue from the library. Did you enjoy yesterday's story all about Little Pup? <laughs> well, today we've got another story about a dog. It's called The Detective Dog. Now, this story is quite a long story, so I thought maybe we would start story time with the story. And then in this time afterwards, we'll have some songs. Does that sound like a good plan? So, get nice and comfy, because it's a lovely story, this, if you haven't heard it before. We have to thank Julia Donaldson, who wrote this lovely story, and Sarah Ogilvy for the lovely illustrations. And a big thank you to Matt Millen Publishers for allowing us to read it at Storytime. Thank you. There once was a dog with a keen sense of smell. She was known far and wide as Detective Dog Nell. <laughs> time after time, Nell the detective solved crime after crime. Who threw the hazelnuts down from the trees? Who took the honey away from the bees? Who did the poo on the new gravel path? How did the spider get into the bath? <laughs> With a wag of her tail, now the detective was hot on the trail. Nell shared her house with a person called Peter. A very nice child though. He could have been neater. And six-year-old Peter was one of those boys who kept on mislaying his clothes and his toys. <laughs> Nose to the ground, these are the things the detective dog found. The bus in the bowl, the book in the bed, the sock in the sofa, the shoe in the shed, the tumble down teddy, the bounce away ball, Nell the detective discovered them all. Now, Nell did detection from Tuesday till Sunday, but did something totally different each Monday. She found Peter's bag, and she tracked down her lead, then set off for school, where she heard children read. The children loved reading their stories to Nell, and Nell loved to listen, and also to smell. <laughs> Mixed in the air were plasticine custard, and newly washed hair. The crusts in the bins and the coats on the hooks. But the best smell of all was the smell of the books. Books about dinosaurs and books about knights. Books about planets and meteorites. Books about princes who turned into frogs. Books about dragons and books about dogs. But then came a Monday when all was not well. Nell sniffed the air and she smelled the wrong smell. Into the classroom, the two of them hurried and found Mr Jones looking terribly worried. He tugged at his hair and he let out a sigh. <sighs> Peter looked round and he started to cry. <laughs> what was going on? The books, cried out Peter. The books have all gone. 
Nell gave a growl when she heard the bad news, but then started sniffing and searching for clues. <laughs> On the bookshelf, a cap. The thief must have dropped it, the terrible chap. Nell sniffed the cap, then she tugged on the lead, and woof, she was off at an astonishing speed. Everyone followed Detective Dog Nell. She stopped at the traffic lights. What could she smell? Haddock and hay, pizza and penguins, and further away, the smell of the thief. And how very exciting. Thousands of pages all covered in writing. Then woof, they were off with no time to stop. Past the farm and the zoo and the takeaway shop. They raced through a field where the rabbits smelt good. Then over a golf course and into a wood. They thrashed through the undergrowth, leafy and dense, till they came to a gate in an old wooden fence. Then Nell started growling and pricked up an ear. She backed and the bark meant the thief is in here. They flung the gate open and Peter cried, look! For there sat a man with his nose in a book. There were many more books poking out of a sack and the children yelled, those are our books, give them back! book thief looked sad. I'm sorry, he sniffed. I know I've been bad. Stealing is wrong, but I just meant to borrow. I was planning to give all the books back tomorrow. To borrow? To borrow? Nell pricked up an ear. She barked and the bark meant, I've had an idea. I wonder what Nell's idea is. Then woof, she was off. And away they all sped, including the book thief who told them, I'm Ted. <laughs> they raced through the wood and over the field where the rabbit smelt good. They panted and puffed past the takeaway shop, the zoo and the farmyard with never a stop. Except to retrieve Peter's scarf and his ball, which someone had thoughtfully placed on the wall. Till they came to a building with doors open wide. And what did they see when they all went inside? What did they see? Where are we? <gasps> Thousands of books from the floor to the ceiling. The books gave the thief, oh, the most heavenly feeling. He gazed in amazement. Where am I? He said. And Peter replied, In the library, Ted. You can join if you want to. There isn't a fee. And then you can take lots of books out for free. So Ted had a lovely new library card. And he sits reading books in his little backyard. And when it's a Monday, Detective Dog Nell 
visits the school with the wonderful smell. <laughs> with a faraway look, she smells and she listens to book after book. Books about dinosaurs, books about knights, books about planets and meteorites, books about princes who turn into frogs, and books about dragons, and books about dogs. All the old books, and new ones as well. The story of daring detective dog Nell. <sighs> Did you enjoy that story? I love the story and I also love that it was all about books and libraries. After listening to that lovely story, <gasps> I'm hoping you might want to visit a library. <laughs> and the good news is, many of our libraries in Salford are now open. So have a look on the library website or on the Facebook page just to get a better idea of the opening times because they might be slightly different to what you were used to. Now, we haven't got time for many songs, but <laughs> I can see one cheeky monkey behind me. So, Let's have three little monkeys. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mummy phoned the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Mummy from the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mummy called the doctor and the doctor said, Put those monkeys back to bed. <laughs> I'll just give Dolly a hat back. <laughs> Should we have another counting song? <gasps> Can we count with our fingers? One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. Are we ready for if you are happy and you know it? So if you've got a shaker, go and get it and you can play along. If you're Happy and you know we clap your hands. If you're happy and you know we clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know we clap your hands. If you're happy and you know we stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know we stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray Hooray! Oh, that was lovely singing. I'll see you all next week. Bye!